make a motion to open the regular session of June 19th, 2019, Harvest Town Council. Is there a second? A second. There's a motion and a second to open the meeting. All in favor of sleeping by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Roll call. That was Randy Sneed. Dylan Colburn. Suzanne Umbach. George Knoll. Sean Harlow. Derek Jones. Lisa Mulaney. Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Citizens input. Jane. Oh, yes. Front row, citizens input. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing some plans, some plans for the next PGI. We're working as a community. Okay. Okay. <laughs> as, as we gave you a sheet, we want to thank, we have so many people to thank for making PGIF work. And it started with Suburban Food Truck Friday because I went there and found those organizers and they were so willing to share information and they're the vendors really because that gave us our first introduction to a lot of vendors. So uh, we kind of made a list here and I certainly hope we haven't forgotten anybody. And of course the council approved our, our doing this just on, I guess, the <coughs> word. And then a big thank to Jamie and his crew because this wouldn't have worked on candle power, I just wouldn't have. <laughs> so they did a great job and I got to watch it all unfold outside my office and so I have a new tree outside my office and it works great for this. <laughs> this doesn't have leaves on it yet. Um, and Doug and uh, Doug Middleton and Mark Vanderbilt helped us with the water for our uh, vendors. The fire department was, and the MTs were very instrumental in getting us lock Egypt under the stoplight, and then they participated, and that was very important. Um, another really important feature was American donated restroom facilities, and that probably was one of the most important vendors that came along, and they did. They, they were very willing to donate, and I believe they're going to for the other uh, three events also. And the ACDC committee uh, did uh, donate a thousand dollars and that paid for it is paying for the music entertainment that we're having in the fire thrower. Um, the friends group then is paying for the children's programming. This time we'll have a balloon twister. And we're going to have a magic act and some face painting on some other events. Oh, and we're looking at a bouncy house. And then uh, Carrie Martin and Jamie Fleury <laughs> helped us a lot with marketing and advertising. Our vendors were very important. We had a really good group. Our, our setup was a little easier than Bourbon's because our street's so much wider. And I don't know, the town just helped us get us people in and out as far as getting some uh, traffic directed so we didn't hang out. Uh, <coughs> a few people didn't read the directions, but that's okay. We got them where they needed to go and it really worked quite well. But the community gave us really good support and for once the weather did too. Mm -hmm. So we want to thank everybody who was involved and we hope the next one is July 12th. It is the Friday evening before the fair starts on the 13th. So it gives us a little bit of different setup. So we're going to still go forward. So we hope you can come and we thank you for all your help. Jane, I'd like to thank both you and Val for all the work you put into this. I thought it was great. We're going to fine tune some things and our place to sit down and eat. We've also talked about maybe seeing if the Boy Scouts or someone would like to present colors right at 6 o'clock. We'll be doing just a five minute opening ceremony. There won't be a lot there, but at least it would be. I thought it was kind of neat. It was Flag Day when we had this, but they didn't want to leave the flags out uh, over, you know, late into the night. But uh, it's kind of a nice thing to. So we're working on that. Thank you. But Thank if you, you have suggestions, you know where to find us. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say I was very impressed by the, for the very first one the town's ever tried to put on and the amount of work that you guys put into it. I was relieved and 
happy at the same time that there was so much turnout there. I was just, when I walked downtown, I was like, wow, this is really great. So that, that was good. I would say at 6.30, I was disappointed because I was afraid we weren't going to get a crowd, but I keep forgetting how much wider our street is. We hold a lot more people. <laughs> and my husband's saying, you are missing that they are here. They are yeah. Right. That's what I did too. Yeah. I, I, was, uh, I was very happy to see the turnout. Really the, the nice thing was the food vendors were telling us that they sold out. Most of them by yeah. 9 o'clock had, other than uh, elephant ears and pretzels and a couple other things, there was no food. The girls that were selling the soft serve, they, they, they sold out. They sold, I mean, just unbelievable how many sold out. Yeah, by the time I made my rounds, everybody was out where I wanted to eat, so. Yeah. <laughs> everybody's wait was about an hour long yeah. across the street, and then by the time I decided, okay, it's short enough, I'll wait, they were out of food. Yeah. The other good point that, that happened was that if you walk by the uh, bourbon pizza, you had people in there eating. Mm -hmm. And on a Friday night, I go in there regularly for carryout, and to know that, there was business in the downtown and people didn't want all that food truck stuff. They might right. they, wanted, they wanted to go sit down and they gave them some business. So. I, I did talk to Justin, but I sent somebody down there and they told me that he is normally pretty well packed on a Friday night. He was still pretty well packed on a Friday night. Good. He went down and got a sandwich, so it didn't hurt him. It, it actually I think it helps our downtown. Mm -hmm. I think everybody That's what Bourbon said. Bourbon said that their downtown yeah. um, benefited a lot from it. So well, Val, you've done a great job of getting everybody to their little numbered space. That, that was quite a job. <laughs> <laughs> you got everybody there. We didn't have to uh, move anybody. Things worked out really good. That's the teacher in her. That's what it is. It is. <laughs> She's used to telling people where to go. That's right. <laughs> kids go there, there, and there. Yeah, she's done a good job. Anyone else have any citizens input? Mark. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Here, Mark. Oh. Now. <laughs> Sorry. You want to go, Mark? No. <laughs> uh, this is on the comprehensive plan. It, when we look at our short term uh, goals and activities we need to do, there's 26 of them. Town Council is responsible for 16, redevelopment for seven. Long term strategies. There's 35, Town Council's 14, Redevelopment's 9. I think that the Council needs to spend some time on developing some kind of self-accountability to make sure that this comprehensive plan is worked because it's, I, I think unless you take a very proactive approach toward this thing, it's easy not to address a lot of things. A lot of things in this plan that should have been addressed by now are not addressed. I sit back and I just watch, there's always a lot of talking going on, but there's no executing. And it's beginning to get really frustrating. So I, you know, that's just the one thing I wanted to bring out. There's a lot of citizens input in this comprehensive plan. It's, it's a, I think it's a terrific plan, but it, it needs to be worked. And if, if, if we don't focus on this, we're not going to work on it. And if you think about it, so far this year, uh, we look at the council meetings, and, and it, this is never addressed. Uh, redevelopment has a tough time getting a quorum. And I just think this, is, this needs to be a focus. We're, this town is at a pinnacle right now. Got a lot of stuff going on. We're going to go one or two ways. We're going to go up or we're going to go down, but we're not going to stay the same. And people are going to get frustrated if we keep talking about the things we're going to do and then we just don't get them done. So I just thought that maybe the council could work out some kind of a schedule or something where they just make sure that they, they get into this comprehensive plan. Thank you. Anyone else? If not, minute 7 to 6 5 regular session. I move to approve the minutes for 6 5 of 19. Second. Go on, Jack. Motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Not all in favor, signify the second aye. 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 Opposed? 
Motion carried. Attorney report. We got citizens in for the rule ahead of ourselves. We'll get into that. Guys, I really don't have much to report other than just to remind you that I will not be here at the next meeting on July the 3rd. Um, but I don't have any new news, no new developments. It's good. It's not bad. That's good. <laughs> Enjoy your vacation. Thank you. Well, on that note, I won't be here either. July the 3rd. Where are we going, Eric? <laughs> One fish if you want to go. Um, <laughs> all right, well, I guess we don't have attorney's report to accept, so we're good. Uh, anybody got any other old business, I'm sure. So just be aware I bring up a uh, bylaws. Should I just wait for my apartment editor? Wait, your apartment editor. You never know when to bring this up. <laughs> any, any new business? Our own business, I should say. <laughs> I don't know what to say on this. Um, I guess the big thing is our is with our EMS. We're going to have to start. We're going to have to make some decisions in here almost immediately. What to do? Uh, I don't know. Every, every, I can give my opinion, and that's all it is is an opinion. But I, I think, sir, it's going to be a thing to us to uh, hire a couple, of maybe full time EMTs or something. I think, at least for the first year, we're going to have to maybe kind of bite the bullet and do this because if we don't, we're going to be hurting it. I'm looking at it not just the loss of revenue from the town by us not being able to answer all the calls, but also by some of the liability. And our people in this town deserve to have uh, ambulance service. They deserve to have good uh, somebody good to give them good care and everything when they are uh, needing this. And we're gonna have to do something about it. I don't know if we need to go into a workshop or uh, or what we need to do, but something has got to be done and, and be done soon. Right? We can't drag this out. It's gonna to, the next six to eight months is probably about the end of. <coughs> Time frame where we need to get it done. Sarah, were you able to get any interest at TGIF? Someone said they might be interested in going through the course if they had time. That was the interest that I got from it. It takes it just it takes a lot of right. like I said, it, it really does. Like if every two years we have to attend 34 hours of continuing education and for a volunteer you know it's it's tough it is you don't want to you know what i mean yeah, i don't know how to explain that without it sounding bad because people younger people just don't understand even the older generation some of them they're like eh, someone else will get it you know what i mean so it's everyone currently saying someone else will do it and not wanting to put in that time and effort for very minimal I mean, the old saying is, if volunteers didn't do it, it won't be so. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> But unfortunately, <laughs> everybody's saying someone else will do it. Yeah. So. That's the best. <laughs> Thank you. We've got good equipment, and we've got some good people, but they just need a little push, maybe, to, to put forth a little more effort. Um, I, don't, I don't know. We're, we're, we're getting ourselves caught between the rock and the hard place. We're going to have to make a grand decision on this. We kind of let it go long enough without doing anything. I can't, I, I can't see within a year of us doing anything other than maybe hiring somebody because we're not ready. I don't think private enterprises will, will even be interested in us but we don't have enough calls but I, I just can't, we're not ready for that. And we can't just sit here and say, well, someday we'll get ready. Well, we can't. So we've got to do something. I can do some more research as far as money, like what it would go into versus saving versus things like that yeah. over the next week or so. Mm -hmm. I can look into it more. I know you guys want more.
solid, factual money crunch. And I get it. I do. I really do. But at the same time, it does come down to your community and what you yeah. provide for them. I would prefer to take this into a workshop with Sarah where we can throw all this out on the table and focus just on that. And, you know, I agree it's a dire situation. We've got to figure something out. Um, but I think that's something we need to kind of way in a workshop where we can work on that with Sarah and she can do some additional uh, research on some things to help us or guide us and so forward. So. Put George here to call the workshop. And that would, be my, that would be my preference. If you want me there, it's not going to happen until July 12th. After what? After July the 12th. And then we plenty of time to do more research. So. Because I'm on. But that doesn't mean I have to be there. No. So I guess, Randy, if you guys decide you want to call it a workshop before I'm gone, you know, I guess you can do it. Yeah. You're in charge when I'm gone. So I hate it anyway. <laughs> You're still in charge when I'm gone, you say. So if you guys want to get together before that, but I, I won't be around until. Does anybody have that to enjoy? Dates. <coughs> Closer to the end of the month there is better for me, to be honest with you. Or early July. I know George will be gone, but that just works better for me. I'm not saying that. Okay, we have, our meetings are the 3rd and the 17th. George, when are you leaving? I won't be here. I won't be back till after the 4th of July meeting. Well, so. Mm -hmm. Will you be here next year? Yeah. Okay. Till Thursday. The week before the 17th is fine with me about any time there. I can make it work. I can change, I can juggle a few things. Dylan, what uh, I I'm good. You're good? I need just I start school next week and then I just have work during the day. So Okay, so you've got evenings. I'm pretty okay. So Suzanne, you're good? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna get to the meeting and I'll get to the meeting and then I'll be in the week of the 15th, Monday the 15th, do you have any days open that week? That week, I, that's budget week. Right. Oh. 15, 16, and 17th. Is Does anyone object to the 26th of this month, next Wednesday? That works. Let's do it. 26th? Yeah. That actually, those days are John? I think I can probably make that work. I'm hoping. All right. So let's, let's schedule a workshop then for uh, the 26th, about uh, around 7. That would be better for me anyway. Later or better. Suzanne, seven all right for you? Yeah. Seven. seven. I can be here for that one. Lisa, seven? Mm -hmm. Okay. That won't work for me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be on duty one hour. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> one week from tonight. Yes. 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 Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Anybody else got any old business? <coughs> Remember the festivals this weekend, everybody? She turned the light on me. Um, show up. It's going to be great. We'll do it through the raindrops. Got a lot of people working on this one, too. So. The town has a table, but I'm not going to be the one manning it the whole time. If anybody wants to help. And also, we need a sign that says Argus, town of Argus. If we have anything to put so that we can identify ourselves. <laughs> Take that with you. Yeah, right there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll take one of those. I can help you, or I can help. So let me know what okay. hours you need well, covered. The part of Saturday I'll be doing stellar, so I'm not going to be able to do town all the time. Okay. Well, just let get with me and let me know what hours you're thinking about. They're, uh, Calling for rain, Saturday. They're saying 70 percent, but now they're even saying it may be in the morning. The American Legion is having a, a car show. We're having a car show. Uh, we're going to go forward with it as far as we can and hope it doesn't get rained out. So everything's kind of on go for that. Uh, 
if you know anybody that's got a car or that what they would like to bring, we're uh, we're not really judging. We're going to give some prizes. Um, everybody will get some kind of a gas card or discount or some kind of coupon, something for just showing up. And then we are going to try to find the oldest and give them something. We've got some other little things. So uh, I'm in the. Uh, Look at the old cars, Sarah. Okay. Wines Club having a free breakfast Saturday at 179. So don't forget the one down here. Having it over here? Yeah, back there. Back here in your building? Yep. Yeah. That's what I was going to ask you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. So we'll write up the pray dignity. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What do we have? <laughs> Rambo eggs, pancakes, and sausage. Mm -hmm. And Mark does the cooking. Just the sausage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's always good. They're all their old business. Anybody got any new business? It's the drainage on Cherry Street. That surprised me when you guys brought that up because I lived down there for years and that. I've never seen that. Yeah, but um, Sunday there was a. Uh, a post put up on Facebook that I got on pretty quickly that was posted. And I'm not going to go into the details of that, but it got pretty carried away. And bless her heart, she took the post down after a while. But anyway, there is a major problem down there. I do have pictures. It was taken Sunday morning, several hours after the storm. You can pass those down. I've looked at all of them. Made notes on one of them. I was down for pictures also because I saw it on Facebook. Yeah, so. so I did Monday, I did reach out to Miss Simpson, uh, or Mrs. Simpson, lives on the corner here where this driveway is at. And uh, she relayed to me, she was very pleased that I reached out to her. She says it's been an ongoing problem down there. Um, they're getting tired of it. They feel like the town doesn't care about them over on that side of town and I assure her that's not the truth that some of us weren't even aware that this was happening and uh, so then Monday on my way home from work I stopped and talked to um, Peggy who lives on the corner there Johnson and uh, she lives on the corner just down the road from that pictures they're right on the corner and she I asked her what her thoughts were on that and she said yes it's terrible the drains don't work she said she's even had water up in her garage um, here? No, this would be her garage here. Okay. She's had water up in her garage. These people, they get water in theirs all the time. So I, I guess, and I know there's some conversation, and I know Jamie's had some thoughts on this and that and the other, but it sounds like we may need to try to figure out a better solution for what's going on down there. Jamie, any ideas? Well, there's no drainage on that side of town. On, the other, on that side of the tracks, it, there's dry wells. So I'll have to look into it. I, I heard just a little bit about it, but... I'll have to look into it. I got some ideas, but we'll see. Unfortunately, if it's been a problem, it's the first we've heard of it, so it must not have been a very good problem lately, in my opinion. So, is it the, is it the road that comes right into Apple? Is that where it's at? Cause I haven't seen those pictures. Well, it's in that where it's yeah, Cherry where it Street. In, it's Cherry Street. We're right where there. Curves, the curves. Runs north and south. Okay. Right there at Apple. And Peggy even told me it floods right down there, right uh, right at Grove Street too. It floods right there. That same road. That same road much. completely flooded over. You're talking about Fremont? Mm -hmm. Fremont right oh, there. Yeah, I've never seen over Cherry. Cherry. Yeah, I haven't seen Cherry yeah. flood either up there. That's Cherry or Apple one, never. No. Fremont, yes. yeah. Yeah. Like I said, you know, when, when it gets bad, we'll pump it out and, and stuff, but there's just no drainage. Mm -hmm. And for us to tie in over here, my thinking is we're just going to create problems for somebody over here because this system can't handle any more water. So. Well, I'll look into it. I'll see what I can find out. Well, I'd, I'd appreciate, I guess, if you would look into it because I think these people deserve to have better drainage than that. I mean, they're getting water in their garages for crying out loud. Yeah. So I just mean, I think it needs, we need to try to figure out something. Here. Well, and what we did in Westview Court when it rained like that, we'd go pump the water out with the back on. So now, now that we know that, we can keep an eye on it. And if that's what we got to do, we will. But I haven't got any complaints. This is the first I've heard of it. So. Well, I, like I said, I, I happened to cross it on Facebook Sunday sure. afternoon, and uh, okay. so then I reached out to these residents and tried to get more information, and that's what I found out. That okay. they, they would like to have some kind of a solution. Okay. Right. 
Okay, Fair Board is asking to have a porta pit on the Friday, July 12th, the same as the TGIF thing. It would be from 4 to 7 p.m., and they would like to do it out here in the parking lot. Uh, they did it last year, but it was on a Saturday, so it didn't interfere with any of the business. And of course, the guy's going to be here before 4, obviously, like 1 <coughs> o'clock to set up. How is that going to impede your business in this building at 1 o'clock? Is that Friday? Mm -hmm. It's a Friday, July the 12th. Yeah, I think last time they had it on a weekend. They had it on a Saturday. Yeah. So. This, this year they wanted it on a Friday. Just so you'd be setting up at 1 p.m. The whole fair's <clears throat> been moved back a day. Every event's been pushed back. So I don't know anything other than what you've read in that email, but I'm confident that's the reason for changing the dates. And the reason they like it here is because of the exposure. Right, and that's why I asked you when they came and asked us, we didn't have any problems with that. Because, yeah, that's great exposure. But that's a working day. Uh, it's going to be the same day the as the <coughs> And we're going to have to have work trucks coming in, you know what I mean? It was a busy day, so it, it's going to be a busy day again. And it's huh? also the Friday before bills are due. Yeah, yeah that's the crazy. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm all for helping the fair out. So if if right. you decide to do it, that's fine. Just be prepared for the amount of complaints we're going to get. Alternate yeah. location around here, we could set them up possibly instead of Frank. Well, that's, that's what I was just. They used off. to go they back the lane, and that, that nobody could see them. Yeah. Nobody knew they were there. Have them set up on our ground a lot. Well, you know what? Why the libraries? Why, 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 yeah. why can't we do that? Yeah. Move them down there to the ground. That's an excellent idea. Because that's still right. They can yeah. be right at, on the street. Mm -hmm. yeah. They can have the visibility. They can come through the back alley behind the station and pick it up and leave if they want to. What's the time frame? Uh, 4 to 7. And that's I know TGF Friday is at 4 to, or 6. Yeah. But. That might bring in more people. Yeah, you don't know. See, you don't know. that. That's the thing. We, you don't know why. If we move them up there, then they're closer to the TGIF. Yeah. Some of the some of the vendors that were non-food, I talked to some. Some of them made some pretty good money. Some didn't do any good, but some did. So it, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. <coughs> right. I say move them down. Yeah, I, I agree. And a lot of, uh, I mean, if they want some place to set up, I'd do that because of the fact like you said, it's it's not right. the same as if they were down there. I don't think we can. I don't think we can put them out here with that. They're not here. Not here. Not out of work day. I don't believe so. Get that to Dale. Is that a motion? Yeah, I'm sure anybody going to make that motion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I make a motion to allow the fire or the uh, fire board to set up their uh, chicken down at the uh, old library parking, the gravel lot. Second. There's a motion to second. Is there any other discussion? Not all in favor. Second. Five. Second. Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Anybody else got any new business? Good. Department reports. PD. No, I only got a couple things. Um, first, I uh, apologize for getting my report out late. I usually have it out a lot earlier, but didn't get on back. vacation. I was on vacation. Um, and the only really other thing, I think it's doing pretty good at the PD. Um, the only other thing I had, I kind of told you a fib, I guess. It wasn't my fault. Um, I told you last time we had a meeting that Rodney was going to have surgery. Apparently he's not going to have surgery. He got a second opinion and he's going to try to stick it out with a, a cortisone, cortisone shot. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how long you go with that and go from there. So might have to have surgery next year. I don't know. But he has a feminine knee. <laughs> Everybody. I got any other questions for Corey? <laughs> oh man, you give somebody a ticker. What the heck? A what? <laughs> ticker for a dog running loose. I gave 10 coach tickets last month. I'll say you've been doing a good job on code, Corey. Mm -hmm. I've been watching the months and follow, seeing how you follow up, but well, you're doing a good job. Keep in mind, this month's going to be a little bit different because 
I mean, the other day was the first I came back this month. I was off for two weeks. So. Mm -hmm. Then we got the fair and trying to catch up with everything. It's came a long ways. Done a good job. Well, thank you. Jamie. Um, yeah. Everything's going pretty good for us, too. We're finally getting caught up with some things. Um, getting the mowing caught up and, and all that, but uh, the paving going on right now, I don't know if you've seen the West, uh, Woodland Trail, they've got that all tore out today, they got it stoned. Um, sounds like next week they might be out of here as far as EMB with Woodland, Woodland and uh, Westview Court. So they poured curbs in Westview Court last couple days, we had a couple repairs to do. Uh, they're probably going to be tearing that out tomorrow, Friday, maybe even Monday. I don't know how long it's going to take them, but once they get that out, they'll, they'll be right in behind paving, so it's going to go pretty quick. Um, Colonial States looks like Monday they'll start out there. That's going to be a little lengthier project. I think they said about seven weeks to complete complete that, so um, just a few things. Um, I'm still going to add in the paperwork. We'll probably be doing our interviews next week to find somebody and uh, I, I don't know if you drove around much but um, the park the guy's been doing a really good job out there keeping up with the mow it looks really good especially for this weekend so but if you see anything that needs done let me know if you see something we missed but I got kind of guys just going every direction and we're trying to clean up so did you we, have a chance to go by Ruth on North Street check out that tree I did and he, I told them, you know, we don't cut those trees down for secondary. That's all that's in there, secondary. So, you know, we'll, we'll do some light trimming, but we, we usually don't take full trees down for that. And I, I know it's dead, but, you know, it's just, we don't get into that. Right. Okay. Otherwise, we'd be cutting trees everywhere. We got enough to trimming to do around the power line, so. Okay. Anything else for Jamie? Again, thank you for the whole crew for the downtown TGIF. I thought there was a lot of time spent in that. We spent some time there. Yeah, he, he couldn't even, there was, he had to work late even at night. There was, <laughs> you know, just problems. And, you know, one thing, you call Jamie and he's there. You don't have to worry. Don't, and, and really, the guys, everybody, I've watched them and they've been just doing a great job. Some's working here, some's working over there. Uh, different ones doing different things. and. They've, they've been busy. They've really been busy. Fire Department. Suzanne. Um, Mark came to me yesterday and said that the computer was not letting him log in. Well, he actually came to me today, and so I, I had Bob go into his computer and reactivate his Excel and Microsoft. And, so he apologizes, but he will get your report and this won't be today. So they don't have a report to hand out now. But they do have four new people coming on. They were there the other night. They will start class in August. So they are increasing <coughs> the numbers, and that's what they wanted to do. <laughs> they are moving ahead. We're trying to push them both ways. Everybody yeah, wants to be a fireman. That's cool. <laughs> it's the bright red truck. We can paint Adams as red. Okay, Sarah, I guess you're on. Thank right. you very much, Sue. <laughs> so, my council report, you guys have my road report. I did find an error. I apologize. The total. Call types for the year to date is 71, not 61. But other than that, everything else is accurate. Um, the stretcher came in and it's installed. Um, those of you that stopped down at the TGIF and got to see it, um, it works phenomenally. It's we actually had to use it Friday night, so it's great on gravel, which is great news. The other ones were quite choppy and. Um, we are still looking for EMGs, obviously. Um, last night at our meeting, well, we had a great fire training meeting, a joint meet, um, training on Monday night. Um, but then last night, all of the drive, the drivers and EMTs that were there last night, they were all trained on the new out on the cot. So that's great. 
fall ready to go in service. Um, and actually, this is new today. Um, next Monday, we're meeting with Brandon Cooper and Dr. Kelly Smith, who will be our medical director. Um, and they're going to be going over protocols with the EMTs next Monday evening. So if you want to be there for that, that would be great. If not, and the drivers aren't required to go. It's just the I'll EMTs. I'll try. Okay. So, um, and then also, you guys should have the bylaws. The the only thing that's different in those than what you had prior was. I'm sorry. Let me get out. Okay, so Article 21, 4G and H, they were reworded for clarity. As was same Article 21, 5D through F, and that includes both types of memberships. And then um, also Article, where are we? Sorry, Article Seven. I define the differences in Article Seven as far as memberships. So it was just to clarify things. Nothing drastic changed, but those were the changes that I had submitted to Derek, and he said he they looked better and more appropriate wording. So. Um, I guess I was just presenting them to you. You guys can, I mean, if you guys looked over them last time, great, and you can vote them on in, or if you guys want to take a look at these fully again, then next month we can vote them in. Keep in mind, we don't have anything in place at this point. I don't know how long EMS has been around, but it's really amazing that this has never been done. I know. And then when you come to realize that I don't know again how long it's it's been since EMS has been around, but this has never been done. But now there's at least a draft. Is it perfect? I don't know. I mean, I don't know much about EMS, but at least when you read through it, it makes sense. It's logical. Um, there's only a couple of things that really we talked to Sarah about, or I talked to Sarah about. Um, so I mean, I, I'm, I'm impressed that, and I guess I'm relieved that we'll hopefully have some bylaws here to at least use as a set of guidelines. Six months and we got this. How do you say we never had it before? Right. 25 cent bonus. Mm -hmm. 25 cent bonus. <laughs> bonus? No. <laughs> I think it looked good. I read the other ones. Oh, ruin that. I read, I read the other ones and I'm, I'm like Randy, I'm impressed. I like them. Yeah. Yeah. EMT and I've read them. They can always be tweaked or something. It doesn't work for us. Or if we find something that doesn't work, we can revisit them. I'm going to make a motion. Change ours every year, I think. I'm going to make a motion that we pass the uh, EMS volunteer bylaws. That was the liaison. I'd like to second that. There's a motion and a second to adopt the Argus Emergency Medical Service volunteer bylaws. Any discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Same sign. Motion carried. We'll just sign this Just sign this one. Here, you can sign this one. You can sign that one and sign that one. I don't think it changed the date, sorry. Um, <laughs> I think there's a spot for you to write it in. All right, we're going to, well, I guess the motion to accept department head reports. We make a motion to accept department head reports as submitted. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept department head reports. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Claims. The total docket for June 19th is $109,594.92. The top five claims are as follows. Number one is payroll number 12 at $38,717.18. <coughs> 
Number two is Federal Reserve at $7,658.42. Number three is Indiana Department of Revenue Sales Tax at $7,469.59. Number four is Town of Argus RSA at $6,529.65. And number five is the Marshall County EDC at $6,200. The total amount of the five claims is $66,574.84. And the top five claims represent 61% of the total docket. Any questions? I also have an announcement. Please, please, please clear your schedules for that fair week for budget talks. It'll be the Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday if needed. Dates? Um, I believe it is July 15th. 15th is Monday. 15th, 16th, and 17th. <coughs> so please, please clear your schedules. We have a lot to go over. A lot. What time are we going to start? Six. I move to pass or to accept claims number 653 to through 683. Is there a second? I'll no, second. Is there any other discussion or questions for Lisa? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, motion carried. Anything else before we adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. A second. Second. There's a motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor signify by saying aye. <coughs>